Let's try. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, so the first map is going to be on the Grand Arena. I'll see you in there. So this is going to be the 10th era of Dagon, Rhett Hunter Shaman going in hot against Unafraid, Rats Pack, and Drifting the RMD. Oh man, I know you're a fan of the RMD, but I'm a fan <laughs> of the Rhett Paladins. It's a battle the of the favorites. R they they should have named their team the RM Dream Team, man. Oh man, they would have had so much hype. But uh, yeah, for real, uh, I'm excited to see... Uh, which team here? Now we saw Avenge team come out so so strong. They have so much pressure right away. Let's see if they can force any defensive cooldowns. But um, let's see if this RMD is going to do their job and like triple get those cross CCs going out and really control the game. So jumping right in here, I'm going to go ahead and follow Unafraid. See where the sap goes out. Sap goes on to Avenge, and it looks like the damage is going to be on to JBZ. The uh... sorry. The, uh, the Hunter, as a full polymorph, goes out into Lewis. JBZ now using his uh, Faint Death, trying to get away. Rat Pack now in a full Hodge, as Unafraid is already cloaked in blind. And JBZ is just going to go down right away. RMD, what the heck? That's Are you kidding me? That's the burst that RMD has always had, man. The, the setup and the burst. And they... They went to pre especially combat, dude. Combat, the combat RMD burst is actually stupid, man. Dude. I kind of just want to go play an RMD right now. That looked like so much control, so <laughs> much damage, so much fun. This is going to be on Dalaran Sewers. Jump right in. All right, so another small, a smaller map, Dalaran Sewers versus Nagran. So I feel like Dalaran Sewers does give the advantage a little bit to this, uh, this Rep Paladin Hunter team. But man, they're gonna be for a lot of defensive cooldowns are going to be forced right away out of this Rep Hunter Resto Shaman again out of this RMD. But uh, I just I don't know where the advantage goes to. I, I definitely feel like the Rogue Mage Druid team has the advantage in comps comp wise here, but. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna have to see, but at the same time, this uh, this Rhett Hunter Shaman definitely proved that they can do an absurd amount of damage very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow Unafraid right out of the gate, see who he goes on. Full Sap goes on to Avenge, and it looks like he's not going to be the kill target. JBZ now in a cheap shot, they're opening up big damage on him. Deep Freeze goes on to Lewis, and the Cyclone on to Avenge. Great cross CC, full kidney shot goes on to JBZ, as uh, this is Adrenaline Rush from the Rogue. JBZ now at like 80% health, he's doing okay for now, but Avenge is in that DR... Um, that DR ring CC go iron bark now coming out on the on the drift kings right away so uh rats pack really making sure that his rmd is going to stay offensive that bop on that blind was a great play by avenge keeping his shaman in the game keeping them offensive as the damage is now going heavily on the drift kings yeah the block is going to have to be forced out of drift kings that was just a lot of damage for his comfort there uh rat pack just Probably called him out to get uh, to to block there. And then the cold snap is actually instantly going to come out. He's going to try to spam some polys onto people. Uh, JBZ is going to be put into that smoke bomb there. Just I'm afraid, just trying to get a lot of pressure onto uh, JBZ. Lewis is going to be put into that full cycle in there, just kind of trying to scare scare their team a little bit. But it, it doesn't look like um, they're going to be able to scare them that much. Jellybean is just still sitting pretty low here, 67%. I, I think he's going to be able to be safe. The hex is trying to come out from Ooh. Lewis there, and it is going to go out onto Rats Pack, but it is going to be a little bit dr. Uh, Lewis just doing his best just to try to keep his team top off. JBZ is going to be put into that full kidney, but he's going to be bopped out. Lewis is going to be put into that full polymorph, but it doesn't look like the CC is going to be enough. 
Yeah, yeah, JBZ still at a low health. The cross CC going out into Avenge, I, I love that RMD's doing this. exactly what they need to do. Lewis now in a full bash. Do they have anything to follow it up? It looks like they're trying to ring it. He trinkets that uh, that Cyclone and, and avoids that ring. JBZ now just using his Shadow Meld, trying to prevent as much damage as possible. Lewis going into a deep, and the cross CC from this RMD going out into this 10th uh, arrow Dagon is insane. JBZ just constantly hovering. Full Kidney Shot comes out onto JBZ. AZ is hovering at 50% health here. No CC on the Lewis yet, so it looks like JBZ is fine for now drifting still taking tons and tons of damage but oh jbz may just go down here oh avenge actually did dc there that's very mm. unfortunate but uh unfortunately when it comes to dcs our rules do state that after 45 seconds into the match uh it's up to the enemy team uh to determine whether or not it's a replay so i will get in contact with that team see if they want to replay that so it looks like they aren't going to take a rematch. So that is going to be uh, two to zero for this is my swamp. So I mean, this is a pretty heavy. Um, this is a pretty heavy uh, advantage right now for this is my swamp. Uh, Tenth era of Dagon literally have to go three and zero to be able to take this uh, this best of five. All right. So the next map is going to be on Blades Edge. Alright, so this is Blades of Arena, man. I mean, I feel like this kind of gives us a little bit of an advantage to this Rhett Hunter team. They have those knocks, they have things like that to really avoid the... I mean, they can knock off the Rogue, potentially, but who knows, man. At the same time, I feel like it's also tricky to get a good position for the Shaman to avoid that CC, so... Uh, we'll see, man. I don't know. This is going to be a scary one for... Uh, for this 10th era of Dagon, as they are zero, they have zero wins at the moment. So uh, uh, this could be their very last match, and uh, this is my swamp will advance to face either I am the Dilbadar or the RLD Dream Team. Mm -hmm. This is go. a little bit of a, a scary map for for both of the teams, simply because you know the mage has distance, the the hunter has distance, but the hunter also has Nox. And well, well, I guess the druid does have knocks as well, so he's able to knock the, the enemy team off. But a lot of knocks on this map, so I'm not sure. I think it kind of evens out. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like the kill target for uh, the tenth arrow dragon is going to be driftings again. I think I like that. I think I, I like that they're going on the mage to really prevent that control. Rogues just have so many defensive cooldowns with their spam faint and stuff like that. So I think that the mage is the right target. They're jumping right on him, doing as much damage as possible. I like how he's sitting right on the edge here. Um, actually, I don't know. He's very vulnerable to JBC from like, like knocking him off. But uh, looks like he's just standing still, just taking some damage from Avenge. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, unafraid. Just got pulled out by JBZ, and it looks like he's going to be taking some damage by Jelly Beans. Orbs coming out now as the full Hodge goes out onto Rat Pack, and the trap is going to land on the Rat Pack. Lewis now in a full uh, polymorph, but he gets sacked. Avenge now using his cooldowns onto Drifting. Dr uh, Drifting is now taking a lot of damage from these wings. Iron Bar goes out onto Drifting, but is it going to be enough? Adrenaline Rush for coming out the Rogue, trying to get that damage. Oh, Nature Swift is coming out for Rat Pack, healing up Drifting as well, but the wings are still going. Lewis just getting bopped out of that blind. Great play by Avenge. As J keeping a team offensive JBZ now is taking a little bit of damage from this RMD, but Drifting is just uh, the wings are finally down, so the damage is going to subside, but the full Hodge goes on the Rat Pack, and Drifting is in some trouble here. Yeah, Drifting is still taking a little bit of damage here. The big kill is going to come out on the JBZ, but JBZ is going to be put into that, that Kenny shot and also a smoke bomb, so it's looking a little bit scary for him. Uh, Evangeline is going to be put into that full clone. Good clone just to try to stop some of the damage coming out of Rat's Pack. He is going to get spam cloned here. Lewis is going to be able to top uh, Jelly Beans oh, back up there, so he looks like uh, everybody's just kind of sitting around just waiting for cooldown, but I think it's going to be a 10th era of Dagon's turn to, to turn this around. Yeah, full trap goes out in the rat pack, and JBZ did not get forced to uh, to deterrence there. Uh, even though it was killing spree, uh, deep freeze going out into Lewis, did they have anything to follow it up? Full kidney shot goes on to JBZ. Is he at 51% health? This could be it right here. A block is forced by drifting though, so it's just going to be all the rogues damage. He comes out of the block, tries to get a ring of frost. Is he going to get it? Doesn't look like it. Actually, it is. It is a ring of frost. Full polymorph goes out into Lewis, but it's sacked instantly. Cloak coming out from unafraid as the defensive slash offensive cloak. There's no more sacks left for revenge as he is sitting that full cyclone. 
Uh, JBZ is still taking a crazy amount of damage, but right now, looks like they're just kind of turtling up, trying to stabilize as they're getting ready to set up their next CC chain on a Rat Pack to go for the kill on, on the Drifting. Unafraid now eating that trap. That was a really good eat. Avenge taking a bash. Is there any CC to follow that up? Looks like the Cyclone's trying to come out, but it does get interrupted. Drifting now taking a little bit of damage. She's just trying to kite away from this Rat Pound. Full Pymorph goes out onto Lewis as J uh, Jelly Beans does get into that um, into that kidney shot. He's taking a lot of damage. He's at 38%. Is he going to have the deterrence here? Does he even have a deterrence? He does. He has both deterrences available to him. He's holding on to them. Lewis in a garrote. No CC to follow it up just yet. Jelly Beans at 50% health. Look like he's going to be okay for now, but Drifting is at 50% health, and Nature Swiftness just came out. Trap is eaten by Unafraid. Great trap. Oh, lockout on Drifting. Was that in Frost? He could just go down right here. He's at 17% health, 10% health. The block comes back just in time as Avenged Wings are still up. Rat Pack now taking a lot of damage. Full Hodge goes out, but he's in bear form. Is so much damage coming out from this Wings. He could just fall over right here. Trap goes out and Unafraid to peel him. He's at 9% health. Still with this Rep Paladin dot on him. He's in trouble. Avenge now in a full Polymorph and JBZ in a full blind. Awesome peels from this RMD, but Rep Pack still at 20% health, man. Yeah, Rat Pack's really low. He might even just go down here. It looks like all the gaps have been closed, and Evangeline is going to be able to hit him here. Uh, Rat Pack sitting at 7%, just living very, very carefully, just sitting in bear form, trying to take as uh, the least amount of damage as possible, sitting at 20%. The full Hodge is going to go out, but that is going to be the trinket because it is, he is too low. He does not want to risk it. The heals are trying to be come out, and it looks like he is going to be able to top himself back up. The Bash is going to come out on Evangeline. He is going to bubble that Cyclone offensively. He wants to stick on his target, but it looks like it's going to be too late. Drifting is now starting to take a a lot of damage here. Uh, the trap is going to go on to Rat Pack. I don't think it's going to be enough. Just he doesn't have a block up. It looks like he's just going to go down here and he's going to go down. That is going to be a win for 10th Era of Dagon. Solid, solid game. The mage goes down right as Avenge lags out once again. Yeah. These guys are fighting the system. They're fighting a really, really strong RLD and uh, uh awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah. But wow, what a game. Oh, there we go. So this next map, guys, is going to be on Tiger Speak. Oh, sorry. I'm going to put it into the game. I'm still setting up the cooldown trackers, you know. But uh, it looks like it's going to be a paladin called Pally Beans. Are you familiar with this guy? I believe Is this Pally Straza? Pally Beans. I have no idea, man. I don't know. I don't know anything about any Pally. Oh, man. I'm supposed to be the paladin connoisseur here. Uh, but yeah, so Pally Beans is going to be the sub-in for This Is My Swamp, going up against uh, this RMD, Unafraid, Driftings, and Rat Pack. These guys definitely have the skill to take it. SSD getting cheap-shotted right away as Lewis is put into a deep freeze. Is there anything to follow it up? Looks like it is going to be wrong. Oh, actually, Polly, uh, it is going to be broken out. SSD taking a lot of damage. Pally Beans, oh, sacking him out of that Polly. Excuse me. Orb coming out. SSD at 49% health. Pally Beans, oh, and that's going to be it. So that what? is gonna be. This is my swamp advancing. There it is. Wow, that was a was a very anticlimactic <laughs> uh, matchup there. Uh, you know, uh, so sometimes this sort of thing happens. You know, when when it comes to uh, subbing in players that haven't really played with each other, not understanding when it is that they they need to like do or when it is they need to pop cooldowns, haven't been playing with the same healer uh, for a long period of time. But you know, uh, this is my swamp. Definitely here to play. Definitely here to compete. And they are definitely going to give either Nesper or Dilly Poo a run for his money. Looks like Pally Beans isn't going to give up just yet as he is going to 1v3 these guys. Full Hodge goes out in the rack pack. Is it going to be enough? Doesn't look like it, but no, for, for real, we're going to be going into the next game here shortly. Yeah. 